Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome to another JDA tutorial, I'm Ditos, and um, this is the third JDA tutorial. A uh, quick recap from last time, last time we just made a simple event uh, where I would say hello, and it would say hello, and then my nickname. So. Now, today we're going to go over commands. Now, commands really aren't much different than what we did last time. It just requires more code and you do what it wants, what you want it to do. So I've created a class here named info where I store uh, info that can be changed. So I've made a string called prefix and I made the prefix exclamation mark. I like this because it's more organized and you can make a command or you can easily change the prefix without having to go through every single command. So here I've set up the um, guild message received event which um, with the uh, array of strings. So it's much simpler than it seems. There's no class you need to extend or no class you need to implement for commands. It's just normal events. So I can do if args zero, so the first word of the command uh, or of the message is um, info dot prefix so our prefix plus uh, online so it'll so I'm saying if they say exclamation mark online because exclamation mark is the prefix that I have set um, then we will do uh, event dot get channel dot send message and now there we can do event.getGuild and this gets so much more possibilities with the guild you can get members by name or ID channels many different things that you can do just with event.getGuild so this is an example of one of them members. so now this is returning a list of members um, dot get uh, no dot size sorry uh, we'll, we'll copy this just um, here uh, cut and uh, we'll say there are plus uh, event dot get guild dot get um, members members um, now as you can see there's many different possibilities you can get um, members with roles by nickname by name uh, many different things so event dot get members so now we're gonna use a for loop for this so let's make a for loop um, a for loop basically here let me explain it so I have integer I equals zero so uh, it's setting the um, value of an integer and we'll say if i is less than um or yeah if i is less than um event dot guild get guild dot get members which is returning a list dot size so the size of the list of event dot get guild dot get members so the amount of members i plus plus so add one to i so here if I do this um, there we go now this will run for as long as ev every time so let me put it into perspective so let's say we have a list one uh, two three so let's say the list consisted of one member three members so it'll go through the first member and um, since I is still below the size, it'll add one. Um, two members, it'll add one. Three members, it'll add one. And then since I is now equal to, and it's not less than, it'll stop the for loop. So this is really useful uh, for many reasons. So um, here, now we're going to say 
if um, here we'll uh, make a integer online equals zero. Um, if uh, event dot get guild dot get members, so the list of members dot get i, so the index of i, whatever i is, because as I said, it would add one until it gets less than. So if we get i dot get online status equals online status dot online or uh, event dot get guild dot get members dot get i uh, dot get online status equals online status dot do not disturb so there we go now we can oh whoops uh oh i'm pressing enter my bad there we go so now we could say uh, online plus plus so it's adding one to online every time that is found so there are and then counter oh uh we need to make sure that this is not in the for loop so it doesn't say that every time uh i is added so event dot get channel um dot send message oh, send message counter or online sorry online so this is getting all the online people um and i'll explain this in more detail after i'm done with this method uh actually no uh there are plus online plus um users online there are plus uh event dot oh, oops, get guild dot get members dot size so this is getting the l l the number or how big the list is so for every member in the discord it'll have advert one so this is basically getting the size of the members in the guild um, plus members in this discord guild okay then dot q so basically what we did was i created an integer named online and it's set at zero so for this for loop is saying if i is less than the size of the members of the guild then it'll add one to i and it'll keep doing that until i is not less than the size of the members in the guild and every time that it is less than it'll run this so it's checking if um the member of the index i what i currently is um is online or on do not disturb then it'll add one to the online count and then i'm sending this message so we need to make sure that uh jdia dot add event listener new uh online command uh there we go so now it's registering online command as event class let's restart the bot all right so now we could say exclamation mark online and it'll say there are two users online and there are two members in the discord because both of us are online and there's two in the discord now i do need to uh um make sure that i have space here okay there we go now we are done with our command and uh it works great now next episode we will be working on a mute command which isn't very that hard it well, isn't really that hard um it's quite simple it seems a bit hard but you'll get used to it and as we go on we'll start getting more and more complex into commands and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um if you have any questions leave it in the comments or you can join 
the TSC Discord and ask us there. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.